Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are all okay. Um, so I haven't been very well this week. I've had a bit of a womanly thing going on. So I haven't had a chance to record a public reading for you. So I went back through all my old readings and I found one video that I recorded for you quite some time ago that I never got out. And so I am putting this one out today. So if you see that I look kind of different, it was because it was a little bit of a while ago. Um, Obviously, energy is always moving and ever flowing. So um, it was recorded for the time that it was meant to be. And that time that it was meant to be is today. Um, so I'm firing an all cylinder. I'm starting to fire an all cylinders again. I'm getting a bit better now. Um, so just drop me a message if you need me. Thanks for understanding. Have a fabulous week, my angels. And I'll be back with you in person next week. Lots of love. Ciao. <laughs> Welcome back. I hope that you're all okay and that you've all had a really good week. Uh, so this week we're doing why is your person blowing, blowing hot and cold with you. We're going to look at their energy, find out what's actually going on uh, with your person to see why they are acting the way that they are acting. So this is, oh that camera's a bit wobbly isn't it? You have to bear with the wobbles. <laughs> deck number one and deck number two. I get my lighting sorted and then I get my camera messing up. Number one and number two, pick your deck. What I want you to do, uh, what me and my guides would like you to do is really feel from your heart energy and can you feel as, as if you're kind of pushing your energy into the deck please. Number one, number two. Okay, deck number two has just gone heavy. This one's feeling a little bit ungrounded. Okay, and let's go. So can you get me into the strongest mutual energy please of deck number one? I know it's a bit of a pain to watch the shuffling. Uh, I talk about this quite a few times but if we you don't then your energy doesn't really get put into the cards and it doesn't come out as the strongest mutual energy so i'm sorry for those of you that sit there and go oh shuffling shuffling um but it's important that you kind of really push that energy in so think about your person let's get into their people's energy i've had a right cold this week you know when you're still a little bit snuffling i've got that i'm still a bit like nasal i don't i don't really ever get poorly okay um, the thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes of the people and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. So the first thing that kind of spirit are saying to me is that there is a lot of kind of mixed up energy with deck number one. There's a little bit of uh, uncertainty. Your people are a little bit uncertain about the situation, about what it is that they want. And spirit saying to tell me to tell you that they're not uncertain about you but they are uncertain about the situation so this is suggesting that with debt number one the reason why they're blowing hot and cold with you off the bat is that it's circumstantial why are they blowing hot and cold with them why are debt number one's people blowing hot and cold with them oh that was a bit of a, a flippy floppy why are they blowing hot and cold of them? How many do you want? Three, four. Five. We'll do eight. So we're gonna do eight. My guide is saying get eight. Six, seven. Eight. Okay, let us get cracking. Now, any of you that haven't seen this deck, my best friend bought these for me like last year and they're a Wizard of Oz one. So if you are big fans of Wizard of Oz or if there's a link with Wizard of Oz with you guys, there is that depth. Uh, this is the deck for you even. Now, the first thing that Spirit is saying with the deck is that you have this kind of what Wizard of Oz theme going through it, obviously, because we've explained that. And I don't know if any of you have watched it, but they, uh, the lion, okay, so let's talk about the lion from the Wizard of Oz. He's not actually coming up on the card, so this is just spirit communicating. They're saying that the lion, um, he ha he lacks this kind of courage. He lacks this strength within himself and he gets really kind of wobbly and scared. And, you know, when they have that song and they go lions and tigers and bears, oh my. And, and he's like, he's frightened. He's really frightened. And your people kind of, in a sense, mirror that lion. OK, so on the outside, they're really confident. They're really sassy. They're really um, kind of sexy, passionate, you know, 
the reason why you like them but underneath it all they really kind of lack a lot of confidence there's a bit of self-esteem issues going on with your people now some of that is relating back to when they were younger there definitely seems to be issues with some of the people in debt number one with parent parents parentals uh, but more linked with dad so if dad left when they were younger or if dad was alcoholic drug and of drug abuse anything along those lines there's definitely kind of with debt number one with a few of you issues with relation to dad so these kind of self-esteem are, are issues are kind of been around since they were young and it's built with them it's kind of grown with them so they have this mask that they put on to the outside world of saying you know what i am confident i am amazing i am incredible but underneath it all you kind of have this inner turmoil going on you have these uh demons that are kind of coming up to haunt them and they they tend to panic when this happens they start to see things in a very negative light and they get themselves into a dark place and they it takes them a while to get out of that dark place to really feel that um they're starting to work through their shit and this kind of comes up in waves spirit is saying so one moment your person is like really really happy everything's going really well and then the next minute they dip into this darker energy and then they come back out and they dip and when they dip this is when they go quiet on you okay so when they, they suddenly have this panic or this freak out they dip into that energy and that fear-based energy comes forward and they don't know how to handle it so they retreat from the situation now what happens with that is that they can see that you want everything from them that you want the whole package you want the family you want the kids you want new dreams of them you've got really high aspirations for yourself and then with them um, and they can see all of that and they can sense all of that and it kind of it panics them a little bit because they go back to this well you know what um i'm not sure if this is going to be the right choice for me i'm not sure if this is what's what's right for me at this moment in time and this is what spirit is saying about it being a little bit circumstantial so some of you will have circumstances where you and your person are not um together like third parties or um other people or money or whatever culture anything along those lines whatever your individual circumstances are there um is potentially circumstances where you aren't together but then when they have these dark moments and these dark dips they really kind of push away from you and that leaves you feeling a little bit lost a little bit confused and a little bit uncertain and certain on how things are going to progress so when they go into these kind of downtime and they get like go quiet on you or blow hot and cold with you and um, they really are having a period of rest from the situation they are still clinging on to it though so even if they go quiet on you, even if they go one wordy on you and just put like K or something like that and they're not communicating with you, they are having a break from the situation but they are equally still kind of hanging on to it as well. The fact that they can blow, they can still text you, not all of them, but some of your people will still text you when they are in this kind of cave. Um, shows quite a lot that they do still care, that they do don't really want to let you go. Sorry guys, you cut out there. Um, they don't really know how to progress with the situation. So they go into this kind of man cave or, or woman cave or hermit mode go and hide away from things. When this fear-based energy comes towards them, they go to hide. Now, the other side of it is they, they know that you want the whole package from them. Like I said, it does frighten them. So when they do go quiet, they are still clinging on to the situation with you, but they're also having a bit of a break from it because they can find it very, very intense between the two of you. Now, your person knows that they have a number of choices that they have to make. They're a little bit frightened of you really knowing who they are as a person. Um, it feels that there's been issues of rejection that that's kind of been brought up throughout their life and they think that if you really got to know the real them like we said they had this kind of lion cover up of who they are being as a person and then underneath it all they're lacking the courage and your person is thinking well if actually if you lived with me if you knew what I was like if you were if we were together properly or if this was um, even if you are together if it was like heading down this stronger kind of marriage engagement line if you knew what I was really like, you wouldn't want to be with me anyway. And again, this kind of brings them back to this fear-based energy. So they get a bit confused by it. Um, they have a various different masks that they can put on in front of you so that you can see um, different aspects of them and different sides of them. And when the side of them is kind of in this darker place, in this darker energy, they hide away so that you can't really find them. There's also issues of addiction kind of coming through here. So there could be alcohol, drugs, gaming, um, sex, anything along those lines. There's issues with kind of 
an addiction with not all of you but with a few of you with in this deck um, some of them really they don't really know who they are as people as well this is coming forward so they're thinking well how can you love me when you don't know who I am and I don't know who I am so that comes forward as well so you have those aspects of it as well which is them freaking out and then on top of that you have the confusion of it all um, because they are putting on this mask of who they are as a person because they're putting on um, this kind of lion when really they're kind of lacking the courage and self-esteem underneath it all there is this panic energy that hits them and they go into this emperor this really kind of stubborn strong masculine energy um, and this is where the main mask is because underneath it all a lot of your people are kittens and you have seen that aspect of them you know you haven't always seen them in this kind of um, cowardly panicking energy you've seen them in this strong masculine energy you've seen them in their power and for, for you lot it's a bit confusing as to how they can have so many different kind of personality transplants um all in one day you know how can they be from like let's meet up let's go have coffee let's go meet up and hook up to okay thanks ta ciao <laughs> to one word and it confuses you but this is you know because they are dealing with all these different aspects of them um and then feeling a little bit of pressure from you on top, they kind of get ready to blow a gasket and they freak out and they panic and they push you away. And then once they've had this time of pushing you away, they bring you back in, they reel you back in and say, hey, do you remember me? How's it going? Uh, what's happening? Let's meet up. And you kind of go back into repeating the cycle with them. And that's why they're blowing hot and cold of you. So let's just recap. We have this kind of darker period that they go through. So they go wave in and out of this dark energy. Um, when I say dark energy, I don't mean like demon demons and all that kind of creepy crawly kind of stuff but within themselves you know we all have shadow sides to us and the moon really illuminates those shadows okay and with this being the moon card what this is saying is these shadows when your person is kind of going along on this happy level these shadows get illuminated and they dip and when they dip into that energy they dip back into stuff that's happened in their past stuff that's happened in their childhood stuff that's happening now feeling that they're not good enough and um, and then they think who am i do this but this person doesn't know me how can this person really like me and um, they don't actually know who i am because i don't know who i am uh, they have this mask of who they're putting on to show you the mask of the outside world and this panic comes in of if they really knew me if we went to the next step of the game they wouldn't want to be with me so if i push them away now then there's not that chance of it happening when they do push away from you they are still clinging on to the situation with you it's just that they're dipping into this darker period and um, it's not that it's over for good they just dip okay dip into this darker period they still cling on to it but they also have a period of rest from it all as well and um, they can feel that there's a little bit of intensity from the pressure that you guys can put on them whether that's you're texting them all the time whether it's energetic they do feel this a bit of pressure from you um, and the re another reason for that will be if it's a more spiritual connection the pressure that naturally comes with a spiritual connection is really intense and um, there's also circumstances that are driving this circumstances that are kind of pushing them into this fear-based energy as well so this could be stuff to do with things that again things that have happened in their past this could be stuff to do with them being with other people or this could be to do with stuff that um, you know any kind of issues quite a lot of twin flame energy kind of coming up in this deck as well and then they go into this kind of stubborn I'm going to cut you out if I don't think about you um, I don't have to do anything about you so if I don't text you and I just blow cold on you then I don't have to do anything about the situation um, and then when I'm ready I'll come back and I'll reach out and we'll be okay again so how to kind of break this cycle with your person kind of mirror the energy that they put onto you so if they let them text you first if you're talking about texting at, or calling let them do the running okay remember the oh good old saying the egg doesn't chase the sperm i know we're not sexually orientated or gender specific but uh, working with energies of masculine and feminine energies and then spiritual connection um and we say the egg doesn't chase the sperm spirit always tell tell us that because they're saying that the more feminine energies which will be the majority of you watching whether you're male or female majority of you watching will be female energies so don't chase don't chase them don't chase the male energy male energy okay um other things that you need to do is really kind of if they start to blow hot and cold on you you can echo that energy back so if they say like k or 
Tom or thanks or whatever you want to the one worded stuff or they really just don't reply to you don't keep chasing them let them go it's that um, elastic band theory you know men are from Mars women are from Venus again never sexually orientated or gender specific but in that book um, they talk about how males kind of have this elastic band theory okay so when this will be you this will be the male they have this elastic band and it takes them a while and males naturally their cycle will make them pull away from you and they can only reach a certain point until they bounce right back but you have to let them stretch to their full capacity for them to bounce back towards you so if you keep chasing them whilst they're retreating what you're going to do is you're going to end up kind of backing them into a corner which could be a detriment to you and them in the longer term so if they go it's that kind of saying let give them enough rope let them let them sort themselves out you know let them go they will come back towards you when the time is right but take your foot off the gas with it okay um you know if they want to blow hot and cold with you let them let them because they'll, they'll still come back towards you anyway it's just that they are in this dark point and they need to deal with this themselves and you guys aren't going to be able to communicate with them what is going on in their energy when they reach this darker point because they're not going to want to communicate with anyone okay and that's deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two. Here we go. Okay, babies, let's see what's going on in deck number two. So, as always, it works on the strongest neutral energy between you all, regardless of circumstances and what's actually happening. I've got a bit of a cold still, so just bear with me with my sniffles. Okay, can you think about your person? Here? Can we get into the collective energy of their people? feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes of the people watching and their, their beloveds, beloveds. Okay. Right, let's have a look what's going on. Can you tell me why is there people blowing hot and cold with them? Why are they blowing hot and cold? saying let's just put one more at the top so I'm getting a song coming through uh, my left ear for you guys my left ear is my low um, I say lower guys it's my main guides um, and my right ear is when we work with the higher dimensional beings such as angels and ascenders masters they speak through my right ear um, and through my left ear it's um it's lovers loved ones helpers and guides okay so that doesn't confuse you anyway in my left ear you're getting death by a thousand cuts by taylor swift and that is kind of where your energy is feeling at this moment in time you're thinking like they've come into your life they've touched your soul and then they've just kind of gone ghost or vanished or giving you a bit, taking it away, and you really don't know what's going on in their mind, in their thoughts. How can they treat you like that when they've they've touched your whole body, they've touched your mind, your heart, your body, your soul, and you don't know how to escape from it because it, they've put you in this kind of stagnant energy. They've kind of reeled you in, and then they've gone, ah, oh, you know, we'll see what happens. So what's happening with your person is that they are trying to keep quite balanced on it. They have got the idea that this temperance is my least favourite card in tarot. I, I, I'm sorry, temperance. I always... Temperance is like a card that says, to me, temperance will always be, it will happen, but just not yet. <laughs> so you'll be together, but not yet. You'll go away with this person, but not yet. You can have babies with this person, but not yet. So temperance is not yet. This is the way I always see this card. So what's happening um, with this is that I also just got in my right ear then, uh, With or Without You by U2. Was it U2 that sung that? So your person is kind of stuck in this energy and they don't really know how to progress with it. You have the hanged man over here as well. Let's turn in the right way up. You have the hanged man over here as well. So your person is feeling a little bit sticky, a little bit stagnated, a little bit unsure about it all. Now they have got hopes that the two of you will come together, but they don't know how to go about it. Now but for a few of you watching this, this will be because they already involved with someone else um, and they would like to see where things progress with you but they don't know how to handle it they don't know how to do it so they get themselves overwhelmed with it all panic about it and retreat go into this kind of hermit mode for those of you that aren't third parties your person is kind of and don't take this the wrong way 
looking at whether they are ready for a relationship are they ready for a level of commitment that you could offer them are they ready to kind of settle down are they ready to put all of their eggs in one basket your person is kind of weighing up weighing up the choices weighing up the decisions now it doesn't mean that they're thinking it's never going to happen because they do believe that the two of you will come together at a later date not yet that you two will come together but not yet so what happens is when this kind of cycle gets overwhelming to them when they overanalyze they overthink they became overburdened with it they panic and they retreat from the situation now some of it happens when um i don't know if some of your people know that you are watching their social media or if they are watching your social media social media is definitely being brought into this they can see stuff that panics them they can see stuff that is maybe aimed at them or you guys see stuff and you start questioning them about it and say well why did this happen how did that happen this isn't all of you but this is some of you so social media is kind of responsible for some of this hermiting mode the other side of this hermiting mode is when they overthink over analyze and the other side of it is your person doesn't like being told what to do <laughs> they're very stubborn okay so when they feel that you're kind of trying to back them into a bit of a corner they, they back away they retreat from it all um, and they get annoyed about it and so you know they'll go out with their mates and they won't text you back or they'll go out playing game station and they won't communicate with you whilst they're doing that there seems to be quite a lot of happening going out with mates and other other energies going on here and they just take a deep breath from it all um, and you try to paint the picture of what's really going on and they won't allow you in they put this kind of mental block up towards you so that's what is happening with your person and the ghost uh, and the blowing hot and cold to begin with you then get left feeling like they kind of stabbed you in the back keep checking your phone I love this card look at her checking her phone you keep checking your phone to see are they there have they messaged what's going on and you're looking out and you're thinking okay you know what maybe it's not going to work I'm going to back away I'm going to retreat from it all let them do what they want I deserve more than this and then they come blending back to you and say hi 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 how's it going so once they feel you to stop feel you pulling away whether it's energetically whether it's physically your person panics and goes okay can't lose you I'm going to come back towards you and again it's because they can see that the two of you can have a future but they're just not ready to do anything about it just yet um they're very stubborn in that regard because they just the reason for it really is there's a lot there's kind of a bit of a lack of maturity going on on some some of your guys levels that they want to just really embrace where they are at this moment in time um a bit of immaturity going on that they want that space they want that time a bit of panic when they're feeling pressured over the situation um a bit feeling overwhelmed by it all especially if you've got a more spiritual connection that overwhelmed feeling comes forward and um, and it can be li largely to do with the intensity but you have this immaturity kind of thing going through as well the other side of it is that some of you guys have just come out of long they've just come out of longer term relationships or they're still involved with people and when it comes to doing something about moving forward they panic again goes back to this panic don't know how to handle it and so they they stagnate the energy and say oh you know what i'm not quite sure i'm ready to do anything about it but they do see that the two of you can be together they do see that there is great op uh, optimism between the two of you that it could work out but you you're gonna have to go at their speed for that to happen now some of you are probably going to get fed up on the speed that they take um they're not suddenly going to change overnight so if your person has always kind of been this way always been a little bit blowing hot and cold with you please bear in mind that they're not going to suddenly have this kind of um wake up and, and be very very different towards you they will always go back to the person they were and you have to kind of trust that with people you know um those people that say you've got to trust your person or learn to trust them well trust is a is kind of a, a gray area spirit is saying you know the best thing to to stop putting the intensity on the word of trust is to go back and trust that they were the person that you met when you first met them so rather than trust on where things are going and trust that they aren't going to do this and going to do that and do this and do that you have to trust that this person was exactly the same person you were when they met them when you met them that they've kind of been honest with you in most respects about the situation but even if they've kind of sugarcoated it or weighed it down this is the person that you 
originally met that you got these feelings for and that person isn't going to change and you have to have trust in that so rather than trying to change them changing if you try to change a person and say don't do this don't do that they're going to repel and rebel and say no you know what I'm going to do it anyway and it's going to cause a detriment to you I can specifically see one of you um, laying in bed waiting for them to text when they've gone out with their friends and they're, they're ignoring you. So if that happens, you know, really take a step back from the situation because you deserve better than that and it makes you feel crappy. And then when you see them again, you're like, come here, come here, I've missed you, i missed you. Because they know how to handle the situation and bring you back in. Um, so I think it's best to have a bit of awareness with regard to it. Um, you know, awareness of how they handle the situations. Now, if they start doing that with you, you know, keep yourself as busy and occupied as you can. You're not suddenly going to be able to say, you know what, I'm done and dusted, I'm out of here. It's going to take teamwork for the two of you to build a relationship where you can move yourselves forward without this um, hot and cold energy happening, okay? It's really going to be working together and your person has got to start working with you. And the reason how they'll do that is if they see you living your best version of your life, keeping busy, keeping occupied, seeing your friends, if they don't text you, go out and see your friends. You know, don't sit, try and try not to sit around and wait for them because what's going to happen is you're just going to bring yourself into this low frequency and sit there in this kind of ten of swords over here with a checking a phone. Where are they? What they're doing? What's going on? Um, they retreat from it, okay? They retreat from the situation because they don't know how to handle it. They feel pressure by it. And when that pressure kind of gets off, when you take the foot off your, your foot off the gas and you think, you know what, I'm just going to leave them to it, this is when they make these really strong moves towards you. So, you know, um, try not to get too bogged down with the ins and outs of what they're doing, who they're with, what's going on, because that's just going to cause a, a rod for your own back and bring you into a negative frequency. Your best bet will be to kind of play them at their own game if they, they decide to go out and not text you or if um, there was someone else and, and they're backing away from it, you know. Not saying you have to go and be with other people, not saying that at all, but just go and keep yourself busy and occupied and take time texting them back, you know, or don't text them for the night, text them in the morning, say sorry, I've only just got in. <laughs> I was out with a so and so and so and so and so and so, I had a really good night and they'll soon come chasing again because once the roles are reversed, they are not going to like it. They like to be in control, they like to be the one that is calling the shots and it's time that you kind of took the power back. Was that rage against the machine, take the power back, just got that. It's time for you to take the power back. And once you take the power back, you'll step out of this temperance energy and things will start shifting. Try not to overly fret and overly worry about their actions and their behaviour. Um, and don't let them put it on you that it's you. Okay, because if they say, oh, you're going, you, you're going mad, you're going crazy, yada, yada, yada. Remember that every action has a reaction and you're not just, you're not just reacting because they haven't done anything. Okay, and equally the other way around, if you guys are out causing actions, your people will have reactions to that as well. So just bear that in mind as well. But don't take it into your energy if they try and throw the shit on you and say, well, you made me do it. They are their own person, they have their own free will, they can do what they want, all right? And you are not in, you are not in charge of that, they get to choose. Um, but they do have hope that the two of you will come together. They're just not handling the situation in the best way possible at the moment. So really step into your power, take the power back, and they will align with you. Okay guys, um, so if you need me, I put all the details down below. I do 15 minute reading, half hour reading. I also do single questions over email. Uh, so if you need me, just give me a holler. Um, wishing you all the best for a wonderful week ahead. Stay, uh, stay, be good, be safe and, and look after yourselves. Okay guys, bye. Bye.